Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. I am in a collab hosted by Janet. Her YouTube channel is mom to create and there is other ladies and they will all be linked in the description if you guys want to follow on. And what it is, is every other month I am challenged to make cards of only using Dollar Tree stuff. So this month is my card making and I have some stuff here. First, let me show you what I made. I made these first, okay? And inside, they do the pop twist. Okay, and all three do that. Okay, and what I used was the instruction paper from the Dollar Tree. I used the what do you call this this glitter paper I used that so I need that I used glue from the Dollar Tree and this is glue from the Dollar Tree so I'm going to use those I have a double sided tape from the Dollar Tree I have some whatever you call this all this is from Dollar Tree. Crepe paper, construction paper. I got this color type paper. So, got some trim, some stickers. These are the stickers from the Dollar Tree. They look like these. They're called the Craft Square. Okay, so let's move this stuff out of the way. And like I said, we're only supposed to use from the Dollar Tree. The only thing you can use is your cutting tool, your ink pads. I think that's what you can, and your uh, scoring tool. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do the mechanism. Okay, because everybody knows how to pretty much how to decorate. It's all up to you how you want to decorate your um, card. So let me get, I don't know, I wanted the black color. But I don't think I have any black. And like I said, I'm going to show you the way I did it. Let's just do the purple. Okay. I have no room. Okay, so since these are really thin, what I did, I just folded in half lengthwise. And then I fold it this way. And that's pretty my ba base. And my base is four and a fourth by five and a half. But I put some of this glue in here. So I'm just gonna use it from my container. Because I believe this one has the big hole. Yeah, and I don't want to scoot that all over the place. Yeah, it's clogged too. So. Oh, it's all clogged, but it's in here. So let's try this. Oops. I'm just doing it half like this so it'll be more sturdy. Because like I said, this paper is thin. 
and all we have is this kind of paper we don't have much at our dollar store at this moment plus I was trying to use whatever I have in my house yes I did buy stickers because I have no stickers surprise surprise no stickers so that's this part and then I want to fold it in half I can use a cutting board I mean uh yeah my cutting board so I want it to be four and a fourth make sure you cut it on the right end you don't want to I don't want to cut it on the end where I fold it and then I want it to be approximately five and a half so let me just mark it stick this here out of the way. Now I need another sheet and this one I'm going to need it to be approximately I believe an eight and a half by three and I think I can use it on these this paper these but I have one right here so I'm just going to use this one really not worried about color so this is I think bigger than an eight and a half yep so oh wait a minute okay can I use this one this one's probably that size I already cut it so I could probably use this so this is eight and a half by three no by four so I can use this I just didn't want to use this construction paper because it's kind of on the thinner side I don't know if I can do it let me just trim this up So now you want to half it. Okay. Now I want to take this and half this. Here, what we do now is we want to try to measure this line the the crease that you have here you see the crease okay you want to line them up when you turn them so I want to turn this so I want this crease to match with this crease I'm hoping I can do it without putting my head in the way yet and be careful if you're using the papers from the dollar store because they rip easily so let's do this side same thing line it up and there is your crease so now this should be able to fold it's this way. Come on, fold for me.
There you go. Should have been a little better than that, but again, I'm not using my scoreboard or anything like that. But this is basically, it doesn't matter how uneven, but as long as you have it pretty much even enough for it to open up without any problem. Okay? And there you go. You can fix it up. See? So now you want to take your base, you want to find your center. I think that's most simple. Where's my pen? Just put a dot. You want to glue this and then glue it down. What is it? Oh, here it is. Try to make it kind of even on your paper. It's funny how you try your best to you do it so well when you're not videoing, but when you go on video, it's like you start messing up. It's like, dang it, you know? But so far, that's doing okay. Now I glue this side and shut this down. Okay? Just make sure it's pushed down well. And then you have your open thing. Ta-da! Ta-da! That's this part. So now you need another eight and a half by three. You need another one. So I'm just going to take my ruler. This is from Dollar Store, so. Just kind of like. That's what I need to cut off. And then my size three, I mean three inches this side. Okay. Move this side of the way, this side of the way. Now you want to fold it in half. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. Fold it in half. Right? Then you just fold it up this way. Turn it over and then fold it up this way. Make sure you crease it good. And then you have your little fold. I don't know what you call that, chevron. So now you want to open this up. Okay, so you're going to have this lined up. Okay. Line this up well. Make sure you crease the, the folded part right here is pointing up. You want this to be, you know, facing you. Okay, now pull this and just do the top part of that flap that's folded. You have the half. This side you want to do top. Just the top. Okay, down, now, make sure the glue's not everywhere, 
Now on this side, you want to do the same thing, but instead of being on the top, you want to do it on the bottom. Trying to make it even so you don't see the back part, but it really doesn't matter. So now you want to work your way to close it, okay? It should just take its time and it should close with any, without any issue. You just got it first couple of times, you got to just make sure you fold it right so it gets its routine of what it's doing okay so then there you go see and that is your mechanism for your card and now all you got to do is do your embellishments so that is it so with that being said where's my cards if you guys liked it, please press the like button, subscribe, and there's other ladies if you're interested to see how they made their cards for the, for the month. They will all be linked in the description and go over and show some love and until my next video guys.